Welcome to the spoken tutorial on introduction to LibreOffice Calc. In this tutorial, we will learn about LibreOffice Calc, various toolbars, how to open a new and existing spreadsheet, how to save and close a spreadsheet in Calc, how to save as MS Excel spreadsheet, and how to export as a PDF document. What is LibreOffice Calc? LibreOffice Calc is the spreadsheet component of the LibreOffice Suite. It is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel in Microsoft Office Suite. It's free and open source software. It can be shared, modified and distributed without any restrictions. LibreOffice Calc can run on any of the following operating systems. Microsoft Windows 8 or higher versions, GNU Linux operating system, and Mac OS X. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. By default, the latest Ubuntu Linux OS has LibreOffice pre-installed in it. To install a specific version, refer to the LibreOffice installation series on this website. Let us learn to open LibreOffice Calc. In Ubuntu Linux OS, click on the Show Applications icon at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Calc. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Calc icon. In Windows OS, click on the Start menu icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Calc. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Calc icon. This will open an empty spreadsheet document in the main Calc window. Now let us learn about the main components of the Calc window. The Calc window has various toolbars, Title Bar, Menu Bar, Standard Toolbar, Formatting Bar, Formula Bar, Status Bar, and Sidebar. We will learn about these as the series progresses. The entire spreadsheet document in Calc is called a workbook. The work area where the data is to be typed contains various cells in the form of a grid. In other words, the cells are arranged in rows and columns. A particular cell refers to an intersection of a row and a column. It is identified by its relevant row number and column alphabet. Cells can hold information like text, numbers, formulae, and many other data elements. Cells can be used to display and manipulate the data. We can see a sheet tab at the bottom left corner of the spreadsheet. This tab enables access to the sheet. By default, we see one sheet on the interface and it is named as Sheet 1. Each spreadsheet can have several sheets. Each sheet can have little more than 1 million rows and 1000 columns, which is more than 1 billion or 100 crore cells in a single sheet. Each row is identified by a number and each column by an English alphabet. There are a series of grey boxes containing letters at the top of the column. Likewise, we see grey boxes containing numbers at the left end of the rows. These are the column and row headers. The columns start from A and go on to the right. And the rows start from 1 and go down. Along with the toolbars, we have two additional fields at the top. Name box and input line. The column and the row headers form the cell references and these will appear in the name box field. 
this was a brief description of the various components in calc now let us learn how to open a new spreadsheet in calc we can open a new spreadsheet by clicking on the new icon in the standard toolbar alternatively go to the file menu in the menu bar then click on the sub menu new and select the option spreadsheet a new calc spreadsheet named untitled 2 opens up close the newly opened spreadsheet named untitled 2 by clicking the x icon on the top right corner now we will learn how to build a personal finance tracker in the spreadsheet click on the cell referenced as a1 in the spreadsheet type the heading as sn it denotes the serial number of items which we will input in the spreadsheet now click on the cell referenced as b1 and type another heading items all item names which we will use in the spreadsheet will be under this heading similarly click on the cells c1 d1 e1 f1 and g1 one after the other type the headings as cost spent received date and account respectively once done typing our document we should save it for future use to save the file click on the save icon in the standard toolbar a dialog box appears on the screen it prompts us to enter the name of our file in the name field i will type the name of the file as personal finance tracker on the left side i will select desktop as file location to save my file notice we have a file tab drop down at the bottom right corner click on this drop down it shows a list of file types or file extensions in which we can save our file the default file type in libreoffice calc is odf spreadsheet dot ods odf stands for open document format which is an open standard i will click on the odf spreadsheet option to save my file do so likewise on your machine click on the save button at the top right corner of the dialog box we will be redirected back to the calc window observe the change in the title bar now it has changed to personal finance tracker dot ods besides saving in dot ods format we can also save our file in dot xls and in dot xlsx format files with these formats can be opened later in ms excel application click on the drop down arrow beside the save icon and then on the save as option in the save as dialog box click on file type drop down at the bottom right corner select excel 2007 hyphen 365 dot xlsx format click on the save button at the top right corner of the dialog box if we save the file in any other file format confirm file format dialog box opens up put a check on ask when not saving in odf or default format option then click on the use excel 2007 hyphen 365 format button we will be redirected back to the calc window notice the change in the file name in the title bar the spreadsheet can also be exported to pdf format to do so click on the export directly as pdf icon in the standard toolbar alternatively we can do so by clicking on the file menu in the menu bar and then on the export as pdf option pdf options dialog box opens up 
In this dialog box, we will see various settings to customize the PDF option. Keep the default settings as it is and click on the export button at the bottom. Choose the file location where we wish to save and then click on the save button. A PDF file will be created in that folder. Another popular file extension which opens in most applications is .csv. This is often used to store spreadsheet data in a text file format. This will reduce the file size hugely and is easily portable. Additionally, we can save the spreadsheet in .html format, which is a web page format. This is done in the same way as explained above. In the file tab drop down, select HTML document calc.html. This option gives the .html extension to the spreadsheet. Again, choose the same file location to save. Then click on the save button at the top right corner of the dialog box. Confirm file format dialog box opens up. Put a check on ask when not saving in ODF or default format option. Then click on the use HTML document calc format button. We see that the files get saved with .html extension. This format is used when we want to show our spreadsheet as a web page. It can be opened in any web browser. Let's close this spreadsheet by clicking on file menu and then close. Next we will learn how to open an existing spreadsheet in LibreOffice Calc. Let's open the spreadsheet personalfinancetracker.ods. Click on the open file menu on the left of the LibreOffice interface. The file browser dialog box opens up. Go to the location where our file was saved. Now in the list of file names that appears, choose personalfinancetracker.ods. Then click on the open button at the top right corner. The file personalfinancetracker.ods opens in the calc window. Likewise, we can also open files with .xls and .xlsx extensions in calc. Next, let's see how to modify a file and save it under the same file name. So let us modify the file by making the headings bold and increasing their font size. To do so, first click on the cell referenced as A1. Now click on the bold icon in the standard toolbar. The heading SN becomes bold. Click on the down arrow in the font size field in the standard toolbar. In the drop down, let's select 14. The font size of the heading SN increases to 14. Next, let us change the font we are using. Click on the down arrow in the font name field in the standard toolbar. From the drop down, select Arial as the font. Likewise, modify the rest of the headings. Let us now save the changes that we made. To do so, click on the save icon in the standard toolbar. Let's close the spreadsheet now. Click on the file menu in the menu bar and then click on the close option. This brings us to the end of this spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about LibreOffice Calc, various toolbars in Calc, how to open a new and existing spreadsheet, how to save and close a spreadsheet, how to save as MS Excel spreadsheet, and how to export as a PDF document in Calc. As an assignment, 
open a new spreadsheet in calc save it under the name spreadsheet-practice.ods type the headings as sn name department and salary underline the headings and bold them increase the font size of the headings to 12 save and close the file the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it we conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates for more details please write to us do you have questions in this spoken tutorial please visit this site choose the minute and second where you have the question explain your question briefly the spoken tutorial project team will ensure an answer you will have to register on this website to ask questions the spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial please do not post unrelated and general questions on them this will help reduce the clutter with less clutter we can use these discussions as instructional material the spoken tutorial project is funded by mhrd government of india this tutorial was originally contributed by desi crew solutions private limited in 2011 this is arvind along with the spoken tutorial team from iit bombay signing off thank you for watching